Hi everybody, welcome to Play Well Live. It's Ben here and we are going to have another episode of Treehouse Tuesday. We are going to be heading out to the treehouse in at the end of this video to see. We actually are going to go with Johnny's suggestion today. And Johnny, I think it was last week, suggested that we add a museum to the treehouse. So we're going to be doing some Lego artwork today. We're going to be learning how to build our very own crazy sculptures that look like this. It's called a tensegrity sculpture and it appears to defy gravity but there's some very interesting things going on so nothing's no laws are being broken here. But we're gonna learn how to build these in a second but while we're waiting for people to show up we're gonna do just a mini mini project right now. We're gonna learn how you can take your own little drawings on pieces of paper and kind of turn them into Lego artwork, basically make Lego frames for them, which is a pretty neat thing, because we're gonna add those to our museum too. So my kids made some cool artwork for me to demonstrate with, so I'm gonna be using that. So first of all, if you've got a little piece of paper, you could do this really any size to make a Lego frame for this little piece of paper. We're gonna use one by plates, and you can use kind of any bricks that you have around, but what I'm gonna to start to do is basically put one one by plate down on, excuse me, a one by brick on a two by plate. And I'm gonna stick the bottom in there and then I'm gonna sandwich it between another one by brick like this. So now you can see, hey Johnny, I might be looking over there because my screen is a little weird today. So if I'm looking for comments, I might look at that screen over there. So good to see you, Johnny. So right here, I've got my, my artwork. You can see it's clamped in like this to my little, to my bricks. And so now what I can do is just use one by bricks or really whatever you want to find to actually build up a frame for your artwork. And then at the top, you might want to do the same thing. So I'll frame the top with another one by brick like this. You can see a nice frame going on. And in the back, just to prevent this from falling out or flapping out, I'm going to basically put another one by brick that has a two, whoa, my gosh, my sculpture fell over. I'm going to put this on the back like this, push down, and now I have the top and the bottom of my artwork clamped. And you can see I've got a nice little frame going on. Hi Valerie, how are you? So now, now we're going to start to learn about this crazy beast over here. Ben and Nolan, nice to see you. So again, we've learned how to make some simple little frames for our paper artwork and we'll, we'll add those to the, um, to the museum later. So I'll set this aside and now we're gonna look at this beast. Now, I've seen these around the internet and I've seen some people build them out of Lego and out of wood and different kinds of things, but I wanted to make a really simple one that you could build at home. Hi Aloma, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in again. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make this thing. Now, first of all, how is this working? And we're gonna learn how this works and what's going on here as we build it, I think it'll be a little easier to comprehend. This is one of those things that just seems to not make sense. And you have to really be able to play with it in order to feel how it's working. You could see if I twist it or turn it, it just collapses. So it's basically these two brick pieces that when I get it set up, it just seems to float there. It's, it's really amazing, like almost magical. Now, it's very particular to make sure that everything works in the right way in order to make this work, and that's what we're going to learn today. So first of all, this weird word, tensegrity. Tensegrity, thank you, Stacy. This tensegrity is a word that Buckminster Fuller created, basically, and it kind of blends two words, tensional integrity. And what is tension? Tension is basically when something is pulling away on something. So for example, if I have this stack of bricks, this right now, if I am pulling, so this, my, this hand is pulling that way, this hand is pulling that way, it's pulling apart, it is under tension. And if there's enough tension, it might snap. If you go, oh, Valerie's my mom. So who, who are you again? I forget. Who's Valerie's child, son or daughter? You're going to have to remind me because I don't remember. So you got to let me know your name in there because I only can see the name of your parents. Now, the opposite of tension is compression. Compression is if I have, if I'm pushing in on something and my forces are going this way, then something is under compression. 
So you've got tension, wanting to pull apart, compression, pull it, pushing together. Now, here's where it gets weird. These right here, these strings are all under tension. They are pulling apart. Usually, if you have something like this and it's supporting something, this is under compression because gravity is pulling this weight down and it's wanting to squeeze it and squish it like this. That's compression. But these, even though they appear to be holding up this sculpture, they are actually under tension. That means they're wanting to pull apart as well as this little string in here, if you can see that as well. Okay, oh Duval, thank you Duval. You gotta remind me, okay. So we've got three different strings that are under tension, and then we have our solid elements here, and they appear to be floating. So let's learn how to build this crazy thing. Now this is kind of a hard one. You might need your family's help a little bit. You might be able to do it on your own, but what you're gonna need is some string, scissors, and a bunch of bricks. And I'm gonna show you, this is really not that hard to build. I'll show you the parts that make it up. You're gonna need a stack of, let me see, I think this is 10 bricks, one, two, three, blah, blah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. A stack of 12 bricks, and then you need this funny little piece, which is made of a two by six brick on top of some two by four bricks. I'll show you this in a little bit. And then this piece right here, which is my it's part of my support on the top. This piece right here is my little base. It's part of my base. And then the only other thing you need are these, these little pieces here, which is actually going to hold your string together. So I made, I purposefully made all of these gray. So as I show you how to build this thing, you're going to, you're going to be able to recognize these pieces because there are, and there are six of them because there are three strings in, in tension and each, of, each string needs two of these to hold it together. The trick of all this is getting these the right length. Otherwise, the whole thing falls apart, okay? So, how do we start this thing? What we need to do is I also have some measuring tools here. I've got a stack of bricks that is four tall and a stack of bricks that is 15 tall. Now, if you don't have all these bricks, I'm gonna show you later, you can make these sculptures using any old random pieces. You actually don't even need bricks, and I'll show you that later, so stay tuned for that in a bit. So, to start off with, let's just get this thing going a little bit. Now, here is my base, and you can see my base I made with three two by four bricks like this, and I put a two by six brick teeing off like this, okay? That is gonna be my base, which is gonna go down here. Now, I know it looks a little different because these are gonna attach onto it on the side, so just be patient on that one. Then I've got my stack of, oh, I've got a little face in here, I didn't even realize. I've got my stack of 10 bricks right now, and that is going to be right here. I'm going to stick that right on top of my base. And then I'm going to stop, because the rest of my attachments for this piece right here are my string holders. So I'm just going to build this and stop. Now my top thing is basically made with this piece right here. You can see five two by four bricks and a two by six brick. I'm just going to stick under one of those so it makes this shape. And that is going to be this top part. And then I'm going to stack my, put my stack of 12 underneath it like this. And you can see that is this long part over here. That is this whole part except for my string holders. So there's going to be string holder here. One, two, three. Hi, Evan. How are you? Thanks for showing up. So I've got three string holders that will be on this one, three string holders that will be on this one. Now, let's deal with our string. Okay, I'm gonna put those aside right now. So our string holders, you can see, first of all, this right here, this little string is basically, you can imagine that this, this um, base piece right here is actually holding up this one, so it, the string is being pulled down by gravity because this is weighing on it. Oh my gosh, it keeps wanting to fumble on me. So that one right there is short, and you can see the space. That's why I have my ruler. The spacing between my string holders is exactly four bricks. So we're gonna start with that little string. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get a piece of string, and I'm going to start. The string that you use, it should be thin enough that I can go like this. I can put it right between bricks like this, and I'm laying it like, I don't know if you can see, it kind of goes almost four studs long. 
and then I just squish it. And then it holds pretty well. Now, I want this only four studs long. I can always trim it later, but I don't want to trim it too short. So I'm going to go maybe about there for now. And now here's what I'm going to do. For my ruler, I'm going to stick my ruler right there underneath my string holder. And I basically want this one there, and it's going to have to be sandwiched in to that. So to start that, I'm just going to put the top brick. When you make your, your little uh, string holders, I always put my smaller brick on top, the 2x4 and the 2x6 on bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. I want to make sure you can see this. I'm going to pull this down tight, okay? And so, and then when I'm pulling it down tight, then I'm going to sandwich it in like this. So now I've got my two string holders holding my string tight and four bricks in between. Now I can gently take it off and take it off and my ruler has done its work. Now I've got this little thing, my little Lego nunchucks. Now we got to figure out where to put this. Here is my base. Here is my hanging piece right here. And now I'm going to take this piece and it's going to basically go right on my... Oh, go, 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 go. go here. It's going to go here. And now we've got this. Now hold on. Let me fix my friend. Hi, Lincoln. Thanks for showing up, my friend. So I'm going to fix my, my little friend over here. Now you stay over there and be good. Can you be good? i got to make sure everything's flat. Come on, you're not being good. All right. Mm. All right. So now we've got this. Now you can see what's happening. It's attached by one little string. What does this thing want to do? If I let it go, does it want to fall straight down? No, what it wants to do is this. It wants to tilt back and pivot back or maybe fall to the side. So what we need is two strings that will prevent it from falling backwards and prevent it from falling to the side. And you remember when we made our treehouse foundation weeks ago, the magic number of three, three supports will prevent you from pivoting backwards like this or side to side. So we need our three strings. So now I think with this alone, you can start to see what this wants to do is this, and that's what these two strings are doing. So the, this top piece is pushing down on the, on the small string, but it's actually going to be pulling up on these two strings right here. It wants to rip it off as it wants to tilt backwards, and that's what we need to prevent it from doing. So now we need some more supports. So I'm going to let my friend rest over here. I'm watching you be good over there. Come on. Now, remember, this one is going to be 15 bricks spacing between my string holders, and I need two of them. So back to my string. I'm going to measure, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. 15 plus a bunch. You can always trim it later. All right. Let's see if this works. So now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start by putting one in my top one. Remember, small on big is how I, how I built this one. So I have my 2x4 on top, and I've got my long string here. I'm going to do that on my other one, too, so I'm ready to go. All right. Now we're ready to measure. So now I'm going to go and take my, my little ruler here, and I'm going to stick this right on top, 15 bricks, okay? And you can see, I basically, you can just measure it like this and see what your spacing is between them. Now I'm going to go like this and pull it tight. And I will put my small brick under my ruler, like that. And I'm going to just tug it. This is where you really do want to tug it kind of tight. And then pull, 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 and sandwich it. Okay? Like that. So you can see it looks like a little one-string guitar. Okay? And I know that the spacing between these is 15 bricks. So I'm going to take this off take my ruler off and do that a second time. Put it here. So after I do this, I'm done with all of my string holders and I just have to assemble. This is where you could use some help from your <gasps> I'm on auto. Hi. Hi, Amber. Hi, everybody. And I'm going to squeeze this on like this. And then if I have any extra string, you can leave it or just trim it if you want to. So now I've got my two long ones. Now let's see if this thing works. 
So remember, this thing is ready. It wants to tilt back or tilt to the side. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to attach one. Do you see how I just stuck it right on the end of that little thing? And my other one is going to go down here and squish it down there. You see how you can see the grays, right? String holder there, string holder there. And now I'm going to do it here. String holder there. Whoa! This is why. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. Don't try this at home. I'm just kidding. Do try this at home. All right. So now I think I've got everything together and you have to really make sure everything is kind of squished together. Now for the moment of truth. It works and you can feel it. It almost feels like magnets floating. And remember, this piece right here, this top piece is pulling down on the short string and it's actually pulling up on the two long strings. It's wanting to rip off like this and, and pivot backwards and do a backflip. So that is our tensegrity sculpture. And remember, these are all in tension. Their strings are wanting to pull apart from each other. Now. Before we go outside and check out our new museum, hi Logan, nice to see you. We are, I just want to show you, check this out, you could make your own weird one out of any old pieces. This is some wacky piece, this I just found from, I made with some plates and some decoration pieces and it works pretty well. And the way I did this one is I literally, what did I do? I don't know what I did. I think I went like this, and I just stuck this. Uh, I don't know what I did. I think what I did is I kind of built this, and I put a spacer in between. I think I maybe used two bricks and a plate. I can't even remember what I did. But I kind of built it. Hmm. Let's figure this out, because I kind of want you to know how to do this. So here's what I did. Let me find some plates. And we'll see if we can figure this out. So another way to do this is to basically almost like build your sculpture. You can see this shape that you need. You need kind of a bottom piece that comes out a little bit. That's this. And then you need one that kind of hooks underneath and then goes up and over. That's really what you need. And you can use any pieces that you want. Now I think what I did is I actually built a little stand for it and just built my Lego like this for it. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness gracious. Don't be scared of this. Don't be scared of all this tumbling and breaking. I want you to try this at home, okay? Now, you can see, I think I just built it like this, and then I measured my string, and I might have even pulled it tight when it was in the structure, kind of built in, and then I carefully removed my support and just let it hang. So that's it. So I think now what I'd like to do is go check out the treehouse. We've got a really cool new addition, thanks to Johnny, for our, um, for our suggestion about me adding a museum to our treehouse. And I'm gonna bring this sculpture out there and let's head outside and see what we've got. All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on. It's a beautiful day out here. It's a beautiful day. You can do anything if you use those strings. That's right, Ama and Otto. Now, We've got, oh, someone fell asleep watching TV. That's fine. Remember, last time above our Burger King, we have our zip line attached, which we did last time for the treehouse. Down here, we've got like our lower level. And remember, if from this level now, we have something new. We have a bridge which goes across here. This is the hardest museum to get to in the land. Dun, 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 museum. And if you go through here, you can see this beautiful museum. Thank you to my kids for making these beautiful drawings. And now we just have to install our final artwork, our Tensegrity floating sculpture in the museum. And now we have our treetop museum, don't fall, Keep your hands and legs inside the museum at all times. And that is that. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Oh, and before we go, I do have one more thing. 
I would like everybody to think right now, I like to every single day that we do the treehouse, I like to think about anything that you would like to add to the treehouse. So please in these videos, the treehouse videos, post any more comments of new things you'd like to add to the treehouse. And remember, 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 I forgot to show other one other thing. Play well at home, please, please. Oh no, I started a video here. Please share your stuff with us. I found another gem here where Arlen, my friend Arlen, made a beautiful conveyor belt using his Lego boost system after seeing our, our um, conveyor belt and pulleys episode. So it was so fun to see him build that. And I wanted to show you one other thing. I got another thing which is pretty cool too that I wanted to show you. Tensegrity, this is something called the NASA Super Ball if you can see it. And this right here is actually, it's a structure that uses tensegrity. Can you see all those different strings holding those beams together? And this, they, NASA can actually make those strings get longer or shorter. And this is kind of like a weird magic robot ball that can roll around by itself. So if it, if it drops down from a, from a rover or from a booster or something like that onto like the Martian atmosphere, it can land and bounce and even roll around. So Tensegrity is not just for sculptures, but it's also for other really cool engineering as well. So I see a pool for the treehouse. I've gotten a pool before. Someone suggested a pool and diving board. So I'm thinking about that in a Halloween room. I like it, Ben and Nolan. I like it. So keep those comments coming for suggestions. I will see everybody tomorrow for Play Well Live. And please, please remember, it makes us so happy to see the builds you're working on at home, even if it doesn't have to do with our, with our videos. So play well at home if you build anything cool. Thank you all so much. I hope you all are safe and doing well, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.